These are figure eight tabletop fasteners. As their name suggests, they're generally used to safely and securely fasten the solid wood top of a table to a solid wood base. Today I'll walk you through the steps to install them and share something I haven't seen in any other video, where to place them on solid wood furniture pieces. The first step is to lay out where the fasteners will go. Set a marking gauge, a combination square, or a ruler like I have here to just smaller than the radius of your figure eights. Notice that I'm only marking the short stretches of the base. The purpose of these fasteners is to pivot to allow for seasonal wood movement, and the short stretchers are the best place to do that. Let me show you why. For a second, imagine that this is our tabletop and this is our base. The top is going to expand and contract mostly in this direction as it reacts to environmental humidity changes. So if we install fasteners here along the long stretcher, they won't have the ability to pivot. But if we install them on the short sides, you can see how they'll pivot as the wood moves. Generally speaking, you'll always want to install figure eights on the stretchers that are perpendicular to the grain lines on the top, because that's the direction most of the wood movement will occur. Also notice that I'm marking the inner side of the rails. Doing this will hide the fastener in the final piece. With all of the spots marked, I can come back with an awl to make a starter hole for my forcener bit. Although most figure eights don't come with detailed instructions, they do tell you to use a forcener bit the size of the diameter or slightly larger to make a shallow recess for one side of the fastener. As you're drilling, go slow and check the fit often. The figure eight should sit just below the surface of the base. It can't be too far below because it will need to contact the tabletop as well, so just sneak up on the fit and stop when the entire fastener is below the surface. Oh, and you may need to knock off the ears of the recess with a chisel like I did here to get enough clearance, especially if you use a Forstner bit that is the exact size of the diameter. At this point, you might be asking yourself why you can't just drive some screws through the base and into the top and call it a day. Well, it comes down to wood movement. Like we saw before, the tabletop is going to experience movement across the top. A screw anchored into the base will have nowhere to go as the wood moves maybe an eighth or a quarter of an inch throughout the year, and this could result in damage to the top, the base, or even the screw. That's why we use pivoting figure eights or another fastener that accommodates this movement. I can follow up the forcener bit with a small drill bit for a number six screw, putting the drill bit in the point the forcener bit left. And by the way, a link to everything I use in this video is in the description if you'd like to check that out. With all the fasteners installed into the base, we can now mate it to the top. Lay the top upside down on a protective surface. Turn the base over and place it on the top. Align the two, then mark for the screws on the bottom of the tabletop. Now you can remove the base for a minute and drill the holes for the screws. One tip to make sure you don't drill all the way through the top is to use a piece of tape like this as a depth guide. Return the base to the top, screw to attach, now the table and the top are securely together while still being allowed to move independently. Let me know in the comments if you have any other figure eight fastener tips and tricks. I'd love to hear them. And if you like this video, I have another one here that you'll like as well. See you on the next one.